Today, lads, I have to go to work. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Louis and I'm from South Africa. Hello, I'm Rachel Quinn from Dublin. John Doyle from uh, Dean's Grange. I'm Daisy Redona, I'm from Holland. Hi, I'm Brian Hardaway, I'm from Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, and I currently live in Munich, Germany. Hello, I'm Pat Flynn. Uh, I'm Paddy Marr. Hi, Dick Butler, I'm Marion. Uh, I'm Jerry Obulek, and I'm from Mauritius. I introduce yourself. What do I have to do? My name is Siobhan Darcy Buick and I live in Tokyo. My name is Maria and I'm from Mexico. Hi, I'm Willie Dawson. I'm from Uchtarard, County Galway. I'm Paul from Kilcullen. I'm Denise from Kilcullen. Siobhan Parson. Uh, I come from Donnybrook. Lynn van der Burg from the Netherlands. And my name is uh, Richard Matthews. Michael Murray living in Kalini. I'm Karen Finnegan and I'm from Dunleary. My name is Paul Waldron, I'm from Dublin. Hi, I'm Jenny, I'm from Germany. I'm Ivan Hayes, I live in Black Rock and I'm having a stroll on Dunleary Pier. A moment in my life. A moment in my life. <laughs> God. God, I don't know. I actually don't know. Yeah. I have to think long and hard about that one. Do you have to think about that? Um, I find that very difficult to really come up with. You could get back. Oh. Um, can I come back next week and answer that? <laughs> it's a very good question. A very hard one to answer. If there is a moment in my life I could get back. Actually, that's pretty easy. Ooh, if there was a moment in my life that I could get back. What would that be? What would it be? What would I like back in my life? I love my childhood. I love the innocence of children and I love the smile and the laughter. And that's what I'd like to go back to. It would be when I was... 18 and went traveling. Maybe go back to school again. <laughs> and had no responsibilities and no worries. <laughs> I've always tried to sort of live my life in the best way possible. I don't think there are many things I would change. Um, maybe lucky in that regard. When we got married. <laughs> yep. The very first time uh, I skydived, which was when I was 15. Um, I'd just love to do it again. Today, my first child was born. Well, I'm going to think of a happy moment then. And it could be our daughter's weddings. Um, mine would probably be to go back to Russia with friends. I suppose when I started work really. Looked forward to setting out on some sort of a path for life. In general, everybody looks and hopes that things are going to work out. When I was a child, and um, with some pals on a summer's day, lying on the grass, looking at the clouds, and just everything was kind of perfect. Probably the summer, I went to Nice, just chilled out on the beach. It probably would have been when I was asked to stop and say this to actually keep on going, but now that I'm here. For me, it would be um, the birth of my uh, firstborn. Just that emotion when you actually see him for the first time. 
The day that my first of four daughters was born was an amazing time. Now, obviously, from my wife's perspective, we don't really want that to go on for too long, but that was an amazing moment in my life. We were running a ball in the Four Seasons for a charity that I set up called Operation New Life. Could have been kinder to somebody. Why? Because it's good to be kind to people. I felt at the moment we spoke um, that everybody, all 400 people, could empathise with a cause that is very dear to my heart. Yeah, actually it was something that's taught me to go. I mean, I lived in England for many years, which I enjoyed, so um, at one period, yeah, um, some of the experiences I had over there and, and friends. And... The moment my children were born, each of them would be the moment, the moment I'd like to get back. You could keep the bit that came before that. And I don't want to get that back. When I and Niall uh, eloped, <laughs> disappeared over to Mexico and um, did the biz. Uh, the biz, um, by that I mean we got married on the beach. Climbing the Alps in Italy, it was breathtaking, absolutely spectacular. The day I fell in love with my husband. <laughs> my last year at school and um, prom, when all my friends were together. I would say the magic of falling in love. The birth of my children, because they were magic moments. Or oh, falling in love after having been in love and thinking you'd never fall in love again. One moment only. Today I got married. I think it would be school because um, yeah, you could always meet your friends every day. You could see them. It was such fun. You know, all my friends were there. We haven't seen some of them since, but they all turned up that day. So they, they give us a great send off. I have a lot of uh, important moments in my life, but uh, when I have to uh, to mention one, it's my marriage to Daisy Hay. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> There's nothing you want to do again. Oh, I, we'll go back to that restaurant in India. We'll go back to that restaurant go in, back to that in Delhi. Yeah. No, my life's been pretty good. Very, very happy with it. Just enjoying it as it, as it goes along. So nothing specific. Actually, probably last week I was in Chicago and I got mugged. <laughs> so I would have gone down a different street. <laughs> That's the moment I try and get back. I think when, when I left school, when I was leaving school, um, I didn't go to college. Uh, and I, I went afterwards part time, but I think I would have liked that experience. Um, mine would probably be a, a moment with my nana before she died. I always wanted to uh, practice ballet and it's something that I never did so maybe if I uh, had the opportunity I came back then and do more for to for to get this I think. My father died very young, he died when he was 64 and I was the youngest of a lot of children. And I did know him, but I'd, li I'd like to have a chance to talk to him again and ask him things, you know. Probably uh, a moment with my father before he died, the, to spend more time with him and talk to him more. That's probably the moment I'd pick. I would have filled out my CAO form right the first time round, save myself a lot of time. My dad. My dad died about um, 14 years ago. I was extremely close to him. Um, it'd be the one thing I would love to have, just even for five minutes. I wish I had decided to do acting instead of law because it's something that I've always wanted to do and I decided to study law because I thought it was the right career to path to take and it wasn't something I loved. Um, so yeah, if I could literally even just have five minutes with him cup of tea and that's it yeah 
one of the moments I would like to get back in my life was back in 1982. We, I was hurling for Offaly in minor and we played the Leinster final and we lost it. I would really and dearly would have loved to have won that match. My wedding day, um, leaving the house with my dad. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> it would be the day I took my first cigarette and I would not take it. Because I've never stopped smoking since. And uh, yeah, that was a bad decision. If there was a moment in my life I could get back would be the night my father died. Um, I was in Stockholm in Sweden on business and I dearly wish that I'd been in Scotland to be by his side. It would be the morning my mother died if I could have, uh, if I had said goodbye to her instead of leaving before she woke up. Uh, staying at school longer than 15 and um, getting more qualifications. Um, and honestly, I suppose a, a passing a friend, yes. Get, getting a time back with Johnny, a mate of mine. That'd be nice, yeah. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, it's probably not my uh, time. I could get back on my own with a time. Uh, my brother passed away, probably a few hours before he passed away. I could get that time back over. Something to save my son who died with leukemia. Um, obviously I love them very dearly and uh, I can't have him back now but at the moment, at the moment, at the time of his life, I would have gave mine for his. Okay? Well, I want to get back to the moment of uh, the day of my life when I choose for my husband because of two reasons because it's the best decision I made and at that moment I was free of cancer. I didn't know that I had cancer and now I have to live with it but it's going well and I'm very happy that I married this husband. Actually, it's pretty easy. It was the moment that I realized that material things didn't matter in my life as much as my relationships with my family and friends. And I was around 35 when that happened. Yeah, so that was a really cool moment. Yeah, yeah. my life really changed from that moment. So, yeah. One moment that I could relive in my life would be the moment right now with my kids at this age and my wife, my family, that's it. That would be the perfect moment for me.